Hello and welcome to yet another chat with a 30-day comprehensible input challenge champion. Or well, in other <laughs> words, somebody who's watched all the 30 videos that I did. And today it's going to be a little bit different because uh, I'm joined by Evil Deer, or uh, also known as Richard. And yeah. uh, he's very kindly agreed to, uh, to come on. Because what he has done is he has watched all the videos and um, he's he's used those as a almost a primary source to learn Tokipona. And we've been uh, excitedly following his progress on his YouTube channel, and he's been making a very good go of it. And I think it's interesting to have a chat because on the one hand, of course, um, just 10 hours of comprehensible input by itself isn't enough to master any language, even Tokipona, I concede that. The point of the challenge is basically to show people that comprehensible input works uh, more than anything else. And of course, in the future, you know, I, I would like to experiment with making more um, material and, and seeing how far we can go on just comprehensible input. Uh, but of course, there's an open question about the interaction between the comprehensible input we get and what we do with it, uh, how we might prepare for it, you know, how, how studying or um, reviewing in certain ways might affect the acquisition process. So it'll just be interesting to to have another chat. So, yeah, Evil yep. Deer, how are you doing? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. It's yeah. a nice Sunday afternoon here. Good. <laughs> it's a very rainy Sunday morning here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. So um, before before we get started, um, what's your background with languages, would you say, just as a summary? Uh, well, I did. Okay, so... It all started a long time ago, I guess. It's the the story. Um, I did some Japanese in high school, but I forgot everything. So, but that was my first introduction to the languages. Uh, I guess a funny story from that time period was I didn't really understand that languages were like something separate from English because when I studied at school, I was I was under the assumption all the time I was there it was basically just like English, but you change the words. Um, and I do have a funny story from that period of where I remember one day asking my teacher how I translate the word the into Japanese. And they just kind of looked at me stupefied and I was looking at them stupefied and I didn't understand what was going on. So I thought I couldn't learn languages. So I kind of stopped with that. Uh, then many, many years back, I was like, I want to learn language because I feel like it's something I haven't succeeded at and I want to succeed at it. Um, so I figured I'll learn whatever the easiest language in existence was and I think Tokipona existed at that time, but it was probably like a tiny community. This is back in like 2010. Um, so I stumbled across uh, Esperanto and I learned Esperanto. Uh, that taught me how to learn a language, I guess, because it was very straightforward and how it works. It's very logical. Uh, and I started using that and I made friends within the community. And that kind of proved to me that I could learn languages. And then after that, I got um, married to my wife, who's Chinese, and I've been studying Chinese ever since. And I've dabbled in little bits of languages here and there. I've dabbled a little bit in, like, say, German, a little bit in Latin. Um, but I would say, like, I'm fluent in Esperanto. I'm, like, intermediate in Chinese, and I'm trying to see what I can get to in Tokipana. <laughs> mm, that's very good with Chinese. So is, it, is that Mandarin? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um yeah chinese is um a difficult one because yes. well there's the whole dimension of the writing system it's like um maybe you know there's a podcast that um hacking chinese that's what it's called i've yeah. seen a little bit of it. yeah i for some reason even though i don't i'm not doing chinese i just find this podcast absolutely fascinating <laughs> yeah and and just the, the the way the writing system has its has a life of its own, it just adds yeah. a dimension to to the language. Um, apart from, of course, not being completely phonetic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I would say like probably one of the mistakes I made with Chinese at the beginning is like I'll skip the writing system. Um, like I'll skip trying to read or skip trying to write. I still don't write it. I like except opinion, obviously. Um, and then like convert it to characters. But I skipped all that for a number of years, and I'd say that kind of really handicapped me because a lot of the spoken language is actually based off the written system, like mm. in a way that's kind of hard to compare mm. because 
it's like you see you hear all these sounds that sound exactly the same but yeah. then you realize they're actually divergent let's say from like five different characters and once you yeah. know those you know then how that you can build more and more and more it's like yeah. Tokyo or Esperanto in a sense um but of course there's the whole complexity of the characters which is just frightening yes I think also maybe there's a bit of a fallacy in the same way as the thing you had in the beginning, which I also had, which is basically thinking that all languages are just relexes of each other. Um, yeah. and a very similar fallacy can be that um, if you learn a writing system, you have to learn to both read and write at the same time. In the case of Chinese, yeah. that's definitely not true anymore. You know, you yeah. can learn to read Chinese and you can learn how to input Chinese using pinyin that yeah. you don't have to learn stroke order or anything like that i mean maybe yeah. it helps but um you know memorizing stroke order is 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 you know something you can leave to later in my understanding yeah it's also one of those interesting ones like my chinese uh, my wife who obviously is a native chinese speaker um because she never like writes by hand anymore often when she does have to write by hand she'll sit there like think for a little bit and be like how do i write this i can't remember <laughs> yeah 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 it's funny how that happens it's like you have something that really tests the limits of 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 our memory if you like because yeah you know, for, for forgetting an alphabet is is well nigh impossible but forgetting you know a system of thousands of characters if you stop using it i mean it's kind of testing yeah. the limits really oh yeah. yeah definitely yeah anyway so um on to tokipana so let me put it this way what got you interested in tokipana and uh, what got you interested in my videos? Okay, well, so I've known about Tokipana for quite a long time um, because I make videos regularly in Esperanto, and every now and then I'll get random comments in Tokipana. Um, but I've also got one mate here in Sydney who learned Tokipana ages back, and he, I don't know if Tokipana has a word for it, but in Esperanto we've got a, um, a verde de papa, which means a green pope. It's someone who, like, nonstop just talks about Esperanto. He's basically like that for <laughs> Tokipana. So I don't know if there's a word in Tokipana for that. If there is, I want to know it. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, he's that, he's that type of person who will constantly, constantly talk about it all the time. And um, I think that actually made me not look into it for a while because <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Uh, so I, I remember like many, many years ago, he convinced me to like look at some random course online. I spent like 15 minutes and I kind of lost interest when I found out that me moku can mean I am food and I eat at the same time. I'm like, well, that's just too ambiguous for me. Like, and then I just kind of stopped playing around with it. Uh, but I'm also the thing that made me come back to it, I guess, is that I've I watched the community from the sidelines just out of curiosity. Because I watch many conlang communities and I've watched it grow and I've seen a lot of things um, that have popped up in the community. Uh, like, for example, someone made some like little computer thing. Uh, where you could input three pointer and stuff. And I, I was like, okay, now that's cool. Now I'm getting interested. Uh, so that was where I was like, well, I already speak Espanol fluently. Um, my Chinese is trudging along. It's growing. I need something else, like something something new to play with. Uh, so I was like, I had a look at the Tokipana courses online, but I'm not a, I'm not a text guy. Like I can't do like a, a text-based course where it's like, let's learn the grammar step-by-step. Step. It just drives me insane. Um, and then someone, I don't know who, they just dropped a link to your channel because I was complaining about it um, in the comments of one of my videos. And I didn't know it was part of like some type of challenge. I just saw your first video. And I was like, yes, that's what I need. That's how I learned because I, I like learning in that way now. Uh, and I just started watching your video one after another after another. And I just started picking up the language like that. Wow. Okay. So um, in, in these interviews, what I often do is I kind of compare what how it happened with with the baseline experiment um which is fine you know it's it, i'm i'm it, it, it's not a problem it's just uh good to contrast in a clear way uh, such that we can compare across the interviews so um before you started watching opilina tokipona uh well the question is did you know any tokipona up front i mean you knew the mimoku thing you knew that yeah did yep. you what what else did you know up front um, I knew some basic words like uh, I knew Sina, Willa, mainly because of my my mate who's into Togipana. He would be like constantly speaking. So I kind of, I did a little bit of comprehensible input by him, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So um, a, a few of the other words are completely obvious what they are because they're basically Esperanto words in a way. Um, so I just saw them. I kind of knew uh, like I knew 
uh, that Lee was something that connected the subject with the verb, but I didn't know exactly what role it played. I also knew that the E was something related to the accusative case. Um, but apart from that, I really didn't know that much, mm -hmm. like word wise, but I, I did play around with like just using a dictionary online and trying to just like translate just across a little bit before I found your videos. Yeah. And I was kind of able to figure that out, just kind of superimposing the grammar of other languages onto Tokipona. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, that's kind of where I was at. Yeah. I think um, as a native English speaker, so well, especially while while I was gearing up to do my videos, there were lots and lots of questions about what air does, because uh, yeah, you don't yeah. have accusative marking in English. Yeah, and people think it's the, and you still get people now and again who think that air. Ah, is interesting. The. Yeah, yeah. And I think that um, it is maybe a stage in your yeah. development as a language appreciator let's say language learner to be able to wrap your head around things like the accusative that don't exist yeah. in, in english or your own language or whatever it is so yeah the, the, the fact that you could see air and you understood yeah. what it was immediately yeah that, that that's quite interesting yeah yeah well um i don't know if you know anything about esperanto but we have basically know. the same thing in esperanto yeah. Yeah. um we have an accusative mark about rather than being e before a word it's attached to the end of a yeah. word um, so it's basically a case marker. So I already suffered through the whole learning the case thing back when I learned Esperanto. Right. So as soon as I saw it talking point, I was like, yeah, just straight away got it. Yeah. Yeah. And and I uh, wondered at some point, because I speak Turkish. Um, and so your languages were Esperanto Chinese, right? Not Japanese. Yeah. Yeah. Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, Turkish has case markers all over the place <laughs> and, ah, no okay. um, and so you know what if you just say the case markers are prefixes you know couldn't you analyze tokipona as a case system you know i had this idea but you know it's it's anyway it doesn't matter um so when you were watching the videos i yeah. i remember i watched a couple of your videos on youtube you were what it seems like you were watching the videos but at the same time you were also kind of sentence mining for Anki, stuff like that. Um, yeah. In addition to watching the videos, what did you do to try and master Tokipana? Okay, well, I would watch the video all the way through. Then I would come back and I'd re-watch the video with the intention of sentence mining specific things that I knew I would need to tell stories. They right. were like talking about time. So uh, specifically it was something that I wasn't sure um, and I also was looking more at the the use of la because it's not something I've encountered in other languages so much. Um, so I was sentence mining those things that I thought would be a little bit harder. Uh, so things like a lot of just mainly time phrases at first um, and then a few other like certain things that I thought might be like certain uh, combinations of words which I thought might be useful. Um, and I was just doing that for, say, the first I would say 14 videos. I would watch the video, go back, and then sentence mine it. I wouldn't grab every single sentence. I'd just grab the ones that I thought would be useful. But by that stage, by about 14 and reviewing my sentence mine cards, I kind of got the flow of what was happening now. And then I just started just watching the videos as one after the other. Yeah. Some days I'd watch like four in a row, and some days I'd just maybe watch one or wouldn't watch any. Uh, but I would be just doing that basically. Um, and... Yeah, that, that's pretty much it until I got roughly near the end where um, I got some Tokipona books, uh, which uh, I think I've actually got them around here. So I've got this one here. Oh, God, green skin is going to kill it. So let's just do it like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got this one over here. Yeah. And then I got the Tokipona Dictionary, which I think is probably near my bedside or something. No, you, you um, just showed me the Tokipona oh, no, no, Dictionary. The, um, uh, sorry, I think it's, oh, here it is, wrong one. And eh, this one, sorry. Oh, yeah. The actual original. Um, so I got these. However, I didn't really do too much. Like, I read through just quickly through this, and it kind of just confirmed my assumptions about all the grammar that I'd learned. Yeah. So I was like, Okay, so yeah, I was right. I wasn't misunderstanding that. And I, I read through that. And then I kind of finished off like the last five or so videos. Um, and then 
yeah, that, that was pretty much where I, I reached the end of your videos. Okay. So it all told, is that a period of roughly a month, would you say? Yeah, I would say roughly a month. Yeah. yeah. Like, cause I've done four videos, I think maybe five. So yeah. So like all up, I've been now for a month and a half, maybe or a month and a week. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So let's, let's have a, have a little conversation in Tokyo Pona then. Let's give it a go. Oh, Pona. <laughs> Pona, <laughs> Sinaki and Tokyo. Uh, eh? Uh, Sinu wile sona e seme. Mi toki ale. Mi, mi, uh, yo e, uh, sitel and mute, uh, pi, uh, kulupo mama mi. Uh, Sinu wile ale wile lukene ni. Mm, mi wile, mi wile. Okay. Uh, one e, uh, Oh, it says host disabled ah, mi screen. Mi pana, mi o, mi o pana e wawatawa sina. Pana pana. Um, hmm. Sina yanyo. Yeah. Uh, pana. Okay. Uh, mi wila toki lili e uh, kulupu mama mi uh, e meli mi Mm, ni, ni ni li pona. Um, uh, uh, ni li, uh, um, ona li uh, ona li ala, uh, kamasona e toki mm. Li, li ken, uh, ona li ken, uh, toki kepiken toki inli, taso li ken toki, uh, ike. Kip again, Toki Inli. Uh, Yan Lili Mi, Li Lili, Mi Suli, uh, Li Lon, uh, Ma Lili, Lon, uh, Ma Lili, Lon, Hello Suli, Lon, Anpapi, Ma Ocelia, uh, hmm. Nimi Pi, Ma Lili, Li, uh, Ma Tamani. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, Tempo Nila, Mi Lon, Ma Sydney, Ma Sydney, Li, Ma Tomosuli, Lon, Ma Ocelia. Uh, 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 on a li, uh, on a li meli mi, hmm. uh, meli mi, uh, li tan, uh, ma sonko, hmm. uh, sona ala sona, ma sonko. Mi, mi, mi tawa ala ta so mi sona e ma sonko. Ah, pona, pona. Uh, Ona li toki kepiken ma sonko, kepiken ma inli. Toki sonko. Toki sonko, toki sonko. Mi pakala. Ona li ken toki lili kepiken ma epilanto. Ni li pon mi. Ona li ken pute e toki mi, ona li ken sona e... Eni mi wile toki ike uh ike um e mm mi wile toki ike e ona mi sona mi sona ah ona um ah uh ni li mi and meli mi and uh Maso ante mi mi <laughs> mi sona ala e uh, waso ni uh, taso waso li pona tau mi. Waso sama ni li pona mute a tau mi. Ona li toki, ona li sona, ona li nasa. A ni li soweli sina no seme? Ona li soweli mi. Soweli mi li... Olin e meli mi, taso mm -hmm. li, li wile uta e luka mi. Li wile mute uta e luka mi. Uh, taso soweli, uh, soweli ni li, li pona tawa mi. Mi olin e soweli mi, uh, tan soweli mi li <laughs> olin ala e mi. Taso, uh, yan mute li toki e ni, soweli pi loye ni li nasa. Oh yeah, yeah. 
So what do you mean? Li Linasa Suli. <laughs> Linasa Suli. Uh, uh, hmm. Mi A. Uh, Nili uh, Tomopi Kulupu Manami. Kalupa Manami li lon uh li lon weka li lon uh li lon ma ma uh ma ni li yo e mute li yo e kasi mute uh li yo ala e uh tomo mute hmm, um mi yo e mm, Ah. Mili pona. Uh, mi wila toki e uh, yan li yo e uh, li yo e ken uh, ken kimia uh, li yo e io uh, lon sinpin uh, ona li uh, ona li um, ona li mama mi uh, mama uh, mi ami <laughs> uh, ona li li uh, olin ala e eh, yan ante li li olin uh, mute e eh. <laughs> uh, soeli uh -huh. uh, li li olin lon uh, e eh, makasi mm. um, yan lili lon uh, oka uh, yan ni li yan samami uh, yan samami uh, li ona li uh, toki kepeken toki inli li wile ala uh, toki kepeken toki ante taso yan samami li yo e uh, ilo youtube uh, akulupu pi ilo youtube uh, uh, li suli li ah. suli suli mm. Um, sina sina yo e kulupu yutu suli uh youtube uh, ilo youtube mi li lili yan sama mi li suli sona li suli ah mm -hmm. Smala, li, li suli 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 yeah ah <laughs> uh, li ah uh, suno alela li musi kepeken ah uh, uh, ilo ni Mm. Li musi kepe iloni li wile e ni uh, yan ante li lukin e uh, musi uh, sina. Pona mi wile lukin e uh, ilo yutona. Ah uh, uh, pona pona. <laughs> no pana e um, yeah. tempo kamala mi, mi, mi wawa tawa, tawa mi tawa. Tawa. Nah. Yeah. Mi, mi pana e uh, ni tawa sina. Taso yan sama mi li wile toki e ni o oh, mi mi wile ala e ni uh uh yan uh yan i will ala and ni yan ante uh pi kulupu sina li kamatawa kulupu mi tani uh, uh <laughs> tani uh sina toki e eh, kepeken toki nasa o pili ni kiala mi toki ala e toki pona tawana Mi look at Sasa. Yeah, Pona Pona. On a Tani, on a Tikiala Tanmi. Pona Pona. Tempo Pini, a Tempo Pini Wekala, me Toki and Nitawa Yan Ante, Yan Ante Li Toki, Kepeken, Toki Epelanto, Yan Ale, Li Wille Tawa, Kulupupi, Yan Samami, Li Wille Toki, Kepeken, Toki Epelanto, Yan Samami Li. Mi toki ani a mi 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 wila ala mi wila ala mi mi wila weka e on a mi wila weka yanante um mi sona e pilinona mi sona e pilinona pana 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 um aso a kulupu mama mi kulupu sama mi a ale li lon ma tameni a mi lon ma sydney mi lon ma sydney lon poka uh, poka meli mi um, taso uh, mie pi uh, meli mi li lon ma sini li lon uh, poka mi li lon uh, tomo mi mie ona? ona mi oh, uh, 
Mi ona li... Mije. A... Mije pimelisina li, li, li sina? Mi <laughs> pakala. Mije pi a meli mi. Mama mi je Mama mi je. Mama mi je. Mama mi je pimelisina li lon pokasan. Yeah. Suno alela li wile tawa telo suli li wile alasa e kala li wile moku e kala ni li pona tawa ona taso ni li pona ala tawa mi ta ni alama tawa mi li pona ala mi wile mi wila ala lukene e kalama, mi wila ala moku e kalama, tan insa mi li pilin ike, tan ni. Sina toki e kala. Sina toki e kala. Ya, kala. Paso, ona li, ona li olin sule e kala, li wila pana e kala tawa ma ale, and lon tomo mi. Sina en meli sina li lon po kala Sina en ona li sike e suno lon ten po pi nan pa se me Luka tu tu Luka tu tu, pona Tempo luka tu tu Mi wile Mi wile e ni ona li tawa Taso li wile ala tawa Li olin e ma osalia. Ah, ona li wile tawa masonko sina wile ala? Mi wile e ni, taso ona li wile ala. Ona li wile ala. Ona li wile ala. Tempo kamala, mama meli pi meli mi li kamatawa ma osalia. Oh, taso ona li awan lon ma sonko tan ni ike lili ni sona e ni, ike lili li lon ma sonko tan ni ona li ken ala kamatawa ma sonko lon tempo mute, taso tempo kamala. Ona li kama. Pona tawa sina, pona tawa kulupu mama sina. Don mao selia, don masonko. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks for that. That was great. We could have gone on for ages. We could have gone on for hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So before we wrap up, I would like to ask you a couple of questions. I mean, I, you, I asked for yep. feedback about the course, obviously, um, but yep. also just generally. I mean, it seems like you knew what you were doing when you were uh, using my videos and, and uh, studying Tokipona. And that conversation was very good. Um, you know, okay. you, you, you've, 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 very, you've, you've got the basics down. It's just a question of, of, of practicing and, and, and listening a bit more and, and, and the rest of it. Um, yeah. So I'm really interested in your perspective on anything you might have learned after doing the uh, videos. You know, is there anything that's maybe any pennies that have dropped for you in some way? Um, and of course, you know, if anybody else is interested in making this kind of content, what would you recommend to them? No. Wondering about the, that. Thing. The thing is, um, this, like... This course would be better if there was more, <laughs> and it covered even more and more topics. Like right at the end, you started to cover like non-stories about animals. Like you started to cover like real-world things, and that's where it got complex. Um, obviously, because it's also harder to talk about those topics, I guess, in a lot of ways. Um, but those types of things, I think, were really handy, especially because like when you start talking about years and stuff, I noticed how you're talk you're doing time, you would say like a number and number and number and. And I was like, ah, oh, so that's how you would talk about a year if you really, really needed to. Uh, so I feel like the course is, it's perfect. It just need, we just need more videos. And I really wish there was like insanely long video courses for other languages that do exactly the same type of thing. 
because it really is like the best way to learn. Um, yeah, that, that's all I can really say about it. Like that, there's no critiques of the course itself. Uh, then again, I, I come from a background of languages. So when I do encounter a new thing, it's I've probably encountered it somewhere else before. So I can just kind of superimpose my understanding. So I'm not like a, a, a beginner to languages. So maybe they would have like different feelings towards that. Um, but for me, it, it was perfect. Like it just introduced things naturally in a story context. It gave me enough structure around each word to understand how it would be used in different contexts. Yeah. And just, just need more. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, of course, what the, the purpose in making this video series um, was in a way as a, for, for people to try ALG on themselves, automatic language growth in the shortest time possible. Because right yeah. now it is possible to learn a language uh, through this kind of content only without any study or sentence mining or any of any, uh, the rest of it. There is content out there for Thai and Spanish, and there's more and more coming online for other languages. Um, I like, it. But, um, like what you said before, um, you know, you say you're not you're not somebody who likes to just, you know, study grammar. Yeah, yeah. Even the ones who do like to study grammar very often find that that's not what gets them fluent. Mm. Uh, See, I, I'm actually yeah. quite flawed as, as a language lo learner in a lot of ways, like because I do stuff in Esperanto and people ask me about the grammar of stuff. And I actually don't know the grammar most of the time because the way I learned it is I just smash read so many books that I just kind of know what, what feels right and what doesn't. So when people start having like a flame war about grammar, I'm like, I don't know the answer, guys. It's just I feel like it's this. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the the I think the language profession's best kept secret, open secret, if you like, <laughs> is that um, experiencing the language in context until you get that sense of what feels right is actually how everybody gets quote unquote fluent in a language. Um, yeah. The rest is technically is just theoretical study, which you may yeah. or not be good with um but yeah no, that's interesting now well, thanks very much for coming on no problem. Uh, anything you want to add um well one thing i would say is that it's lucky that your course did exist because pretty much everything else just teaches it via those other methods so i'm not sure i would have stuck around for talking Ponder if if it didn't exist mm. um yeah yeah it was a blessing that i saw those videos <laughs> For me as well, you know, I, I was very excited to watch your progress and I'm very um, happy that we're able to have this conversation now. So thank you very much for making the time. Yep, no problem. Yeah, if if um, you listening or watching would like to get in on the action, the name of the course is Opilina Tokipona. You can just search for OPETP on YouTube and it will turn up. And if you want to take the challenge, watch one video a day for 30 days and then come on the podcast. Uh, then the address is bit.ly slash 30 DCIC. So, yeah, thanks for being with us and take care. No problem.